Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon. If you saw my last review, you know what's going to happen. Orphan First Kill. It's on Paramount Plus and in theaters in very small release. But let's be honest, is it really her first kill? I don't think so. So the title might be Miss Lee. Orphan First Kill, what's about the very similar premise. Well, if you know the title, you know it's a prequel to the 2009. Orphan came out in 2009. 13 years later, we are revisiting this franchise. And does it do its duty of entertaining the audience? And I am shocked to say it does. It's actually surprisingly smart sequel or prequel to the first one. So with that, I will give the negatives of the movie first. It's very formulaic when it comes to the acting and the directing. Uh, William Brent Bell is the one who does this. He is very known to make very, very low-budget movies like The Boy, The Boy 2, The Devil Inside, Stay Alive, which I hope Shout Factory does a Stay Alive release, like a 4K one with Frankie Muniz. I love that movie. I don't care what anyone says. That is a really, really strong movie. So unfortunately, when re-watching the first Orphan than watching this one, the 2009 one looks a lot better, and that's 13 years later. So to me, that's kind of a big fault of the movie. Maybe it's because one it was streaming and one was DVD, but still, it felt just very low budget compared to the first one. The acting's all right with this one. This one is substantially shorter by 30 minutes. So even though I watched the first one and this one, this one did feel a little bit more to be desired. Yeah, it was very by the book, A, B, C, D, E with this one, with the storytelling and everything like that, and it went boom, boom, boom. It was paced pretty well. But for some reason, I just wish a little bit more meat was on this bone. However, I do wish there was more meat. It doesn't mean there is a solid, solid twist halfway through this movie. Even though I said it's like formula with A, B, C, D, E, I'm just talking about, you know, storytelling progression. But when it talks about the actual screenplay and you giving you that twist and turn halfway through, holy shit, I was sucked in. Because I was like, damn, you know that a movie like this, they could have easily gone the formulaic. I'm going to use the formulaic pretty lot. Just the simplistic plot of, you like, you know her story. You know that she has killed a family by fire. You know this happened in this handful. And you know that from the 2009 version. However, this puts a good, solid twist in it where you were not expecting it. And if you were expecting it, you either A, went on Reddit, or B, saw another review, or C, your friend told you about it. Because you would not see this twist coming normally. You wouldn't. If you did, you are lying. But the acting is fine. You have Julia Stiles in this movie and just the same girl. From the 2009 one in this one. You can tell they did some de de aging And you know that Lord of the Rings type of thing. Of how they were filmed. But I was pleasantly surprised. With Orphan First Kill. Yes was there a first kill in this one? Absolutely not. But the story works. The twist and turn works. The kills eh. Not as good as the first one. But they are there. Is it better than the first one? It is not. But my goodness was not expecting it to be this cheesy, this fun, and a good, good twist halfway through. So Orphan, first kill, will receive a three and a half out of five of futons, which equals that 70%. So let's see the critics news scores gave this one. To the critics, a 69% with 75 of them. Audience score 68% with fewer than 50. Here's the critic consensus. Leaning into its ludicrous premise, Orphan First Kill is a sequel that holds its own, and for fans of campy horror, may even represent an improvement on the original. Hold up! I can't say it improves the original, just how the original is made. It just is more competently made than the second one. But anyway, we have the 70, 69, 68. Chase Yark with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think it's Topia. You Blue Tonys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Shocked. Shocked is the one word I can say.